All right, welcome back to Create for Americans for a very special video to commemorate the championship win, the inaugural championship win in Major League Cricket of the one and only and first champs of all time. That's right, Mumbai Indians, New York. Got to work on the name, but I get it. It's the brand. What I didn't realize is Mumbai Indians, they have five different teams. Major League Cricket team, the women's IPL team, the IPL team, MI Emirates from Dubai, um, and the Cape Town team from the South Africa League. Five teams, it's a franchise, and guess what? In five leagues, they now have three championships in, or seven total, seven times, seven times. Five in the IPL, that's right, baby, tied for the most with uh, CSK, whatever. One for the women's IPL in the inaugural season in 2023, and one in the Major League Cricket season, the inaugural season in 2023. This franchise is just out of control. It's been a few years since the Mumbai Indians and IPL won a championship, but it's a franchise that people are going to hate even more. Even more people are going to say, and Bonnie bought out America. Who cares? Because they just got the first championship. I didn't think it was going to happen. It's a very short season, just a few weeks. Five matches in the group stage. Mumbai only won two. Mumbai, New York, excuse me, only won two of those matches, but it was just enough. They barely got in. I call them the net run rate Rangers because they barely got in with that net run rate over the Unicorns. But once it was a playoffs, it was on like Donkey Kong. They took down, who they take down? Freedom. They took down TSK, and now they took down the number one team, the 4-1 and one team, the team with the number one pick, the Seattle Orcas, to win the inaugural championship. And it was quite a crazy match. Gabe is there right now. He's watching everything unfold as it just finished about 20 minutes ago. He's in Texas with his wife, Savannah. They're enjoying the festivities right now. I don't think he's too happy because he does not write for root for one MI New York, but he should because he's from New York, but whatever. I chose him. I root for him. Another championship on the belt, and I'm going to mention it so many times. I cannot wait to drive him crazy. But this match, really, it came down to one player. It really did. Well, kind of two. It started off with the Orcas batting. Mumbai, Indian, New York's... It's a long name, right? They won the toss and chose to bowl. And it was the Quinton DeCock show for the longest time. The guy got 87 runs on 52 balls, 167 strike rate. Not too bad. He had four sixes. But he had some support with uh, Ranjani with 29. Pretorius, um, the only seven balls he saw, 21 runs, 300 strike rate. And they ended with a 183. And at one point in the death, Gabe's texting me, this is getting out of hand, man. He thought it was pretty much in play. And the crazy thing is the last few matches have been low-scoring affairs. So I started getting really nervous. And it was really, honestly, 183, a big portion of that. 65 runs were from David Visa, which he's a fantastic cricket player from Namibia. But he has this um, in his history to give up a lot of runs every once in a while. Not always. He can also score some runs, too, as we've seen in different leagues. But he gave up 65 in four overs, and it, it was it was crushing. Those were the biggest overs they had, I believe, in their entire innings. So it was it was a tall task. Shout out to Rashid Khan. Three wickets, only nine runs given up in his four overs, and then Bolt, three wickets as well. And so Steven Taylor loses his wicket on the third ball, I believe it was. Duck, just like that. And it was the best thing that could have happened because Perron came in. And in that same first over, he hit two sixes to make the, the score 12 for one after one over. And the scoring just kept going. At one point, I think it was the eighth over, they went over 100 runs. After eight overs, for crying out loud. Nicholas Perron almost set the record for the most sixes in a T20 match. And I think that's just international league, whatever it is. He had 13 sixes. The record was 16. He's in the top five all time. I am not sure if those records include domestic league records, but I'm pretty sure it does. 13 sixes. And he also had 10 fours to go with that for a crazy score of 137. He had a 300 strike rate after like 20 balls. That's insane. 137 off 55. He was the reason why they won this match hands down okay tim david was there brevis was there but it was all perron all day long and this guy was just an absolute magician 
you got to feel so good for Perron. He's had a lot of success in his career. He really, really does. But he stepped in today to take over as captain over um, Pollard. Not sure what happened there. You didn't have Rabada Bowen. Not sure what happened there. But he came in as a standing captain, and he led by example. And they chased after 16 overs. 184 after 16 overs. I mean, really, after the eighth over, it was basically done. It was just a matter of time. But they kept going. And then, then I think in the 15th over, the 14th over, he had a few sixes just to like really cement it. And even the last ball that won it for them, it was uh, it was maybe a leg by, but I think he barely he tried to go right after um, a Yorker right at his feet. He was able to move and get his bat on a little bit for it to be the winning runs. It was an incredible, incredible performance. It was an amazing match, and it was something that I did not think was going to happen going into the playoffs to be able to sit here and say a few days later that M-I-N-Y was going to win the entire thing. But man alive, I'm so happy they did because, first of all, I have one over on Gabe. Take that. And second of all, it just spreads the greatness of this brand. And for all the haters out there, ha, 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 baby. That's right. Seven times. Seven. It's so many championships, I couldn't get my fingers together fast enough. Seven championships for Mumbai Indians. Shout out to the women. I did not make a video about your championship, but great job as well. And this was a fantastic match. It was a fantastic league season. It really was. The fans were there, probably a sellout if not really close to it there in Texas. And the excitement, the fever, everything's going on right now in cricket in America right now. And I hope this does nothing but just spread all the craziness, all the insanity, all the enjoyment for this cricket league. And there were some other great performances in this game, but it was all Nicholas Perron. He definitely deserved it. This is probably the performance of his lifetime so far. But anyways, super excited about it. I hope you watched some of the matches. I hope you're following along because it was very, very exciting. Great cricket and a fantastic performance for the ages going on right here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video. Check out some other videos we have on the channel right now. And hopefully, very soon, we will bring you some vlog videos or two from Gabe there and his time at the championship. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, adios.